What's up guys, coming to you with another video explaining how to connect your robot to Android or iOS device. So you may have purchased one of the connected series models, maybe D3, D4, D5, D6 or D7 connected and you'd like to connect it to the app itself. So in this video I'd like to explain that. I'm gonna be using uh, an Android device uh, but you can also use iOS and I will mention what would be the steps or the differences between the two. Let's get started. So you may be either uh, you may have either just purchased the robot in which case I would probably recommend connecting the robot to the charge base making sure it's, it has enough charge or maybe you already have the device and you want to and you have it on your Nito app but you just want to reconnect it again. So the first step would be to download the Nito app from the uh, Play Store or App Store and create your own Nito account. So once you kind of open the Nito account, you'd have the screen to create your account. It's fairly simple, it takes a couple of minutes. I'm not going to go for that right now. Uh, so yeah, I've already had the robot connected, which may be some of your cases. So you may reconnect it, but generally you select the option to add new robot. Uh, you would see it on the screen once you create the account. So for me, because I have already a uh, robot connected, I had it before. I'm just going to go to settings and then reset robot and connect to Wi-Fi. So I'm going to select that. And this is the screen that um, all of you should have. So from the screen you select the robot that you have. If you're not sure which model you have, just turn your robot upside down. Oh, apologies. And you'd have the model written on the belly sticker. So I have a D6 connected, so I'm gonna select that. Go next. So now uh, there are instructions for pairing mode, so we have to put the robot in pairing mode. How do we do this? So generally you just have to press on the right bumper and power button for roughly 15-20 seconds or once the lights go off. You can see the lights being gone. We just press on the power button once more and the robot will start powering on. And that shouldn't take more than 40-50 seconds so just wait for the sound uh, to come up and that will mean that the robot is ready to go to the next step so we're just gonna wait for that sound Perfect, the robot's powering on. We should have the info LED blinking every few seconds. That's an indicator that the robot is creating an access point. And it's gonna be doing that for one hour. So you have, we have one hour, which is plenty of time to connect that robot to the app. If you're not sure if the robot is creating access point, you may simply just go to settings on your phone go to networks and go to your wi-fi and see if on the list you can see the robot itself it would call it would be called nito dash and a number which is a part of the serial number so we have the robot creating access point we can see that so we're going back to the app so once we've done the steps we just connect to the robot access point and for iOS users, you'd have to actually go and manually select the robot in settings and Wi-Fi. So now we get the screen where uh, the robot's already connected to the phone and it's asking us to which network we'd like to connect the robot. So I'm gonna use my network if you don't see your network listed, just check if you have a 2.4 GHz network. Uh, and if you're certain of that, you may manually enter the Wi-Fi name. Make sure that it's case sensitive. So I know my network is this one. 
uh, also for password uh, I would always suggest selecting I and making sure that you read that password correctly and there's no any typo so if I'm happy with that I select next I give the robot a name and I go next so now we have a connecting process and you will see the robot fast blinking info led that means that it's connecting so we have the first step which is connecting to Wi-Fi so to my local router connecting to the internet and now it's registering the robot on the Nito server and the Nito account so once that's done you could hear the chime say, indicating the robots connected and the light went solid for a few seconds and disappeared I have all ticks green I press OK and the robot is showing ready to clean uh, that's it now I can go and select cleaning options select wherever clean I'd like it to go maybe with extra care go back and start the robot uh, that's about it guys uh, we have the robot connected right now let me know if you have any questions or queries down in the comments I appreciate subscribing to the channel and liking that video uh, I will see you in the next one take care bye bye